Hello guys, Vizar is here bringing you another Total War Warhammer replay with commentary for today's battle. We have the first forces of Britonia and uh, their king, King, uh, king Luin Leonker, on top of his uh, hippogriff Biki. And we're going against the Empire, who has a really interesting army for us today. And they are being led by Balthazar Geld, who has already popped his Arcane Conduit and Staff of all that. Wallanus? Wall, wall, Wallans? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this is what uh, this was uh, one of the closest uh, battles I had played. So, uh, without further ado, let's just uh, start a battle and see what we have here. Uh, it's a long battle, so I'm just going to talk about the armies like this. My front line, uh, for five units of peasant mob. We have men at arms with shields, regular men at arms, two field trebuchets, four peasant bowmen, two of them with pox arrows, uh, two questing knights on left flank uh, and two on the right. We have King Luen, this is uh, this is getting uh, really close so I'm just gonna slow the battle down and talk about the other stuff. Uh, for caster, I have a caster of life with regrowth, earth blood and uh, dwellers from below. Um, I wanted to try this ability out, this spell out. Uh, we'll see how it does if i get to uh, even cast it we have scroll of shielding and power stone and for luin we have all of his stuff i think uh, we have his sword of coron we have his shield the lion shield uh, stand your ground foe seeker beloved son of britonia which uh, you'll see a lot of value uh, being accrued by this ability we have the ladies champion and blessing of the lady uh, another thing that I really uh, want for Luin is that he should have a perfect vigor because uh, he's a Grail guard. Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he has the Lady's Blessing and like other uh, units, he should have it. So for my um, Empire opponent, we have three units of Flagellants in the front line. We have one, two, three units of Spearmen with shield. Uh, we have two Spearmen without one. We have two huntsmen who are already shooting at uh, King Luen here. We have three pistoliers, really nice pick. Uh, two empire knights who don't have a uh, who don't stand a chance against my questing nuts, but that's not the whole army about. And I think that's it for the army for Caster. My opponent has a Jade Wizard here with regrowth and power stone, and we have Balthazar Gelt with his staff, his arcane conduit. Plague of Rust and Searing Doom with uh, Evasion, which gives him more speed. Uh, really interesting stuff. We'll see how he performs here, how he uh, uses this ability. So already Plague of Rust uh, has been casted on King Luin. He he's being shot by a lot of Cav and um, other range units already losing a lot of HP. Now I use Lion Shield, but he, he has already taken a lot of damage, unfortunately. I think my opponent had a yeah he has a steam tank as well I, I don't know how I missed that but yeah uh, the front lines as soon as they meet uh, my peasant mob just route which is really bad my archers weren't even in position uh, to start shooting and my and, and I was sending my men at arms uh, from the flanks to try to get a better engagements now uh, my archers don't have a lot of uh, protection here these range units probably gonna kill this questing knights because uh, I don't think I remember uh, microing them a lot. So that's bad. Luin going for the steam tanks, but uh, it has a lot of HP, nearly uh, 7,000 HP. Um, my questing knights trying to get some engagements, but uh, here we go. The Searing Doom uh, nearly destroying them. Unfortunately, a lot of spearmen also here to. Uh, stop them and do poke damage to my cav units, which is not ideal, but uh, I don't know <laughs> what what can be done. There were there were a lot of range units and a lot of scary units already chasing my uh, range units. So I tried to run away with my peasant bowmen, but these guys have the flagellant have more speed uh, than these guys. These guys are poison now, but still uh, I need I was trying to shoot them down before they can uh, finish my archers down the cav wanted to move behind my lines i mean there there is not there is no front line anymore so 
but yeah, they were trying to get uh, to the back line. Uh, assuming Doom going down, my opponent precasting even before we start the engagement. So yeah, I took some damage for that. He took some back. Uh, I was I was trying to stop them from uh, getting to my archers here. But uh, yeah, let's uh, pause a bit and uh, see what's going on here. So as we saw there, my front line just broke. Some of them, uh, I think they even run out of the battle, uh, run of the bonds of uh, battlefield. We have some peasant mob here, some. Here, my archers, again, too close to the infantry line. A lot of my questing knights uh, destroyed. And as I said before, uh, my poor questing knights losing 1,100 gold here. Easy. So uh, that's really good for my opponent. Let's, uh, let's uh, uh, speed up the battle and see uh, what's going on here. Even though I had much more infantry and much more ally, uh, troop 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 counts uh, my opponent was able to kill a lot of them so um, now these flagellants are going after my trebuchet i am trying to st uh, stop them with my questing knights let's see how the how much damage these guys take yeah that was a lot that was a really nice uh tank ca for uh, changing the uh, charge uh, cav charge um mechanics they, they work now uh, which I am happy about. So King Luen, uh in the battle fighting a lot of cab units. Uh, my damsel is also helping him. But um, as as you guys know, I don't have any infantry to do that. So I have to take ris risky engagements. Uh, I think I already used the... Uh, uh, let's uh, well, let's uh, see here. I, I want to see if I use the... Um, no, never mind. I haven't used the regrowth yet on uh, Luen. Is taking a lot of damage but there is a plus side uh, if you guys don't know the beloved son of Britonia. Uh, let's see if I can choose um, King Luin here does it work on himself no it doesn't so uh, whenever Luin has less than 50% HP his whole army gets this buff 50% uh, weapon damage 8 melee attack charge bonus and immune to psychology which is really great here because my opponent has a terror causing unit let's see maybe we got a decent ch uh, chance here to deal some damage to the steam tank uh luin um missed i think yeah uh, a lot of these units didn't uh, connect with their attacks so that's that's a shame uh, some units are shooting luin uh he heals so that's that's good but overall the damage is adding up let's see what I have for my backline here. On the right flank, we were able to secure some pocket of units. My, I have a, a decent uh, a, um, decent qu uh, HP uh, questing knights here. They're they were protecting some uh, peasant mob, uh, I mean, men at arms and uh, peasant bowmen. So that's really nice. Uh, my damsel, unfortunately, was stuck between a lot of uh, spearmen. So that's why he, uh, she's running away. Uh, I'm trying to kite these flagellants, shooting them down. 28 models. They, they still can be um, a problem here if I don't finish them off. I think with uh, finishing these Empire Knights, I'm going to try to go for them and see how I can deal with these guys. Um, I think I was able to charge into these two Huntsmen. They, uh, they were not protected for a bit there. And with that, my... And knights were able to do a lot of damage to them, um, break, finishing off one of them. The other ones are also really broken with um, 28 models, so that's nice. At this part, we were able to catch the Jade Wizard. Um, now it's my opponent's uh, caster who's dying, which is really nice. He, he was trying to cast a regrowth, I think, but with Beloved Son of Britonia, which also buffs Cav units, uh, we were able to finish them up pretty fast. I need to pull out from this engagement as soon as possible F unfortunately i'm doing that uh, these archers giving some support fire so overall we were able to uh, come back a bit uh, with um, the balance of power is moving uh, for uh, to the opponent side 
um, which means uh, I'm, I'm able to kill some uh, key units here from my opponent which is really nice but uh, yeah the pistoliers are being such a nuisance they're pretty fast 90 speed and now they charge my peasant bowman and they're probably gonna run away they were able to <laughs> break one of the pistoliers before that which is nice again uh, I was able to uh, bring my field trebuchet crew uh, to the artillery pieces and start shooting but um, yeah they can't just stand there as I said I don't have enough units to protect them uh, but still balance of power is in the middle uh, I was able to pull it back a bit uh, I have my questing knight some infantry fortunately that can help me I'm moving them back because uh, the pistoliers were shooting I wanted to, uh, to get some cover from from uh, peasant bowman Luin uh, was able to stop these flagellants from chasing and finishing off the peasant bowmen. Now these guys have three models and they're probably gonna die before they can get into the, uh, the melee. Uh, yeah, the only one is here and he's gonna die as well, which is really nice there. We were able to catch some key targets. Um, I mean, I don't know if I see these guys. Yeah, I see them. I don't know... Uh, why I sh I'm not going for them with Luin. I was trying to break some of these guys with terror uh, because yeah um, Luin has terror which is nice again pistoliers uh, charging into peasant bowmen uh, these guys are uh, done for unfortunately the cav the archers two I have two of them some uh, re some brave peasant mob also are here these are all uh, thanks to the uh, the beloved son of Britannia that these guys are still fighting they have 27 melee attack as well they're getting 30% uh, buff to their uh, melee attack uh, 30 to 50% which is really nice again uh, this is really nice um, by the way my damsel came back I used a regrowth on her that's why I'm able to use um, earth blood here on my uh, really ex really crucial units here Luin and uh, questing knights uh, we're still getting shot at in the back uh, the lot of anti-large units, but I don't know what else can I do I need to uh, Just go for these two really important targets Baltazar and steam tank needs to uh, Die here. Let's see here. This is a really nice uh, Last samurai moment. We were able to finish all of these pistoliers before they can get a clear charge a clean charge into my peasant bomb which is really nice so we're doing whatever we can um, even Balthazar is damaged which is nice if he comes down again um, yeah I'm just gonna send damsel and uh, Lewin to finish him off my opponent uh, never mind I thought that I think the plague of frost was on Lewin but I uh, counteracted it with scroll of shielding full seeker also going down uh, that's gonna be a uh, that's going to be a lot of damage to Luin because two characters are uh, fighting him. One of the other nice things here is that even the damsel has beloved son of Britonia 8 uh, melee attack. Look at the stats. <laughs> Not bad at all for a caster, squishy caster. So uh, Balthazar running away. Uh, my opponent still has some range units. I was trying to wrap around and go for them with uh, quest, uh, questing knights. But overall because this uh, pitch battle is really uh, crucial I need to have all of my important units there so yeah some peasant uh, peasant bowmen uh, still shooting still have some ammo to shoot into the Empire State troops uh, going for the steam tanks uh, steam tank I need to finish this uh, piece off as well uh, Balthazar Gelt is back but I don't think he can uh, cause a lot of uh, threats right now uh, Luin is a uh, world beater right now, 45 uh, melee defense, 56 melee attack, and I think I'm um, using the Sword of Coron as well, which uh, which is really nice. Uh, the, where the yeah, my knights were able to break the Huntsman steam tank. Look at this. Uh, if these guys didn't have um, uh, immune to psychology because of the uh, beloved son of Britonia, they were already going. Were going to. Uh, route off uh, I mean run away so yeah that's a really nice ability I was thinking to myself how good that uh, ability can be and as you guys are seeing here uh, in, against Empire it's just crazy good uh, the buff was up um, most of the battle and we we were able to do a lot with it and uh, with with uh, with charging in 
with a charge from King Luen, this, uh, this pocket just broke and decided to give up. Really nice battle, GG to my opponent. Let's see how they perform. Uh, 55 kill, not the best kill count, but uh, the damage value is not that high either. I mean, uh, Luen did a lot. He got a lot from his healing. He tanked a lot. His uh, beloved son of Britonia, which was active over 50% of time because he got shot down. Um, at the start of the battle overall the damage value not the best but overall value out of the board i uh, really lo loved it uh, even the damsel look at this damage value D these damsels c don't cost a lot um on horse they cost around 800 uh, 800 yeah i'm not this and uh, we use regrowth uh, a lot of earth blood so yeah happy with her performance even scroll of shielding uh, the Peasants, even though they broke at the start of battle, look at them. Most of them paid for themselves or uh, was pretty close to do so. So I'm happy about them. Uh, the men at arms didn't do much, but the other, the shielded variants, paid for itself and then some really happy with their performance. Range units, uh, two of them doing great, three of them paying for themselves and then some really great. Uh, the other one did good as well. Questing Knights, not the best performance out of them, and it was my fault, not the unit themselves. These guys were great. Um, the, the way this battle, the, this matchup used to go was that you used your peasant moment with Pox Arrows to um, slow and weaken the other Empire Cav units and just run over them with the Questing Knights. Um, one of them did really great, the other ones, uh, Pistoliers, Archers, and the uh, Searing Dooms were able to deal with them and uh, Field Trebuchets, uh, I think they did great as well. They cost uh, Their cost is 550, isn't it? Um, I think it is. So let's see. Uh, Baltas of Geld, not bad, but not the best. The Empire State Troops, Infantry, most of them did great. These guys did good. This one also did fine. Uh, Archers did uh, really well as well. Not the best performance for cabinets, but look at this. Pistoliers are so good. I mean, three of them in most matchups uh, usually um, just wins you wins you the game outright. Uh, the sim tanks were sim tank were also was also a good pick. Uh, I mean, my opponent probably was expecting a Fey, but when a, when a lord is really strong and it gets picked all the time you forget forget about other really strong picks i mean luin is really great in this matchup the shield the uh, sword all of them uh, help him and uh, yeah as you guys saw there uh, we won this battle because of uh, luin for sure he carried really hard even though he doesn't have the best uh, kill count and damage value so um yeah just tell me about your um, experiences in this matchup. I would love to know uh, what picks you guys um, are most comfortable with, uh, how you approach this battle, how you played this as Empire, how, you, how, you, how would you deal with uh, Fey and vice versa, how would you play as Bretonian, which lords would you pick, and yeah, uh, it would be really nice. And uh, guess that's it for this battle. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you guys consider leaving a like and subscribing. It would really help me and my channel grow. And uh, I have a Discord server. You, you guys can um, um, join the server. Talk. Uh, we can talk there. We can share builds. And yeah, it's going to be fun. So yeah, that's it. Catch you all later. Bye.